What's up guys, Adventurex here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of the JL Build. Today, we're gonna be installing something epic on the JL, an AFE power exhaust. I'm gonna go grab it, you guys click that subscribe button and let's dive right in. So check it out guys, this right here is the AFE Power High Tuck Stainless Steel Catback Exhaust System. This is gonna add extra clearance onto the JL and this is great for 2019 and up, JL four door and two door. I'm gonna be installing this on the two liter. You can also install this on the 3.6. It's a simple bolt on to where the factory exhaust is. So let's go underneath and check it out. This is where the factory muffler should be. I took mine off in a previous episode because it was damaged during the accident. Removing the factory muffler can be done in two simple steps, but it's not that easy. Let me show you how it's done. So the factory muffler is gonna be connected in three places. You're gonna have a clamp right here that goes to the cap back. You're gonna have two hangers, one here with this rubber piece, and then there's another one on the other side, which is identical. What I recommend doing is getting some WD-40 or some oil and spraying it into the hanger. That's gonna allow you to pop that hanger out. It's gonna look just like this, but on the muffler, and you'll be able to pop that out. On this side of the exhaust, you're gonna have a clamp. You wanna undo that and then wiggle it back and forth until you're able to slide it off. Pro tip, a technique I often use is I get a screwdriver and I push it in to the hanger. That gives you some leverage to be able to pull when you're trying to get the muffler off. But be careful you don't damage these hangers because this is what you're gonna install your new exhaust onto. Because this is a direct replacement of the factory muffler, the installation is really straightforward. This is something that you could do at home DIY with some basic hand tools. All you're gonna need is a 16 millimeter socket and some WD-40 or penetrating oil. This axle back exhaust mounts in two locations. It mounts onto one of the hangers, which is on the driver's side, and then it also clamps onto the original exhaust on the JL. So the first thing that you wanna do is get your clamp and attach it to the back of this axle back exhaust. We're then going to take the exhaust, put it in the position of the hanger on the driver's side, align the exhaust onto the factory exhaust, tighten down the clamp, and then add the tip. Let's go and get it done. So now that we got our exhaust ready for installation, we want to identify the two points that it's going to attach to. It's going to attach to the original muffler and onto the hanger on the driver's side. So I got our band clamp ready and we're going to insert the two and a half inch opening onto the factory one. It's important to note that there is a notch on the side of the factory one. There's an opening on the side of the axle back. So we're going to slide this on until the notch fits in. Then we're going to turn down our hanger. I'm going to spray some WD-40 on the hanger just to make the installation easier. We're now gonna line it up and pop it in. Once the hanger's in place, you can grab your 16 millimeter socket and tighten down the clamp. The last step is to put on the tip. We're gonna put it in place and then tighten down our band clamp. So just as a note guys, the band clamp on the tip is actually a 17 millimeter, not a 16 millimeter. I don't know why they're used to different sizes, but that's what it is. Now that we got it fully installed, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Do you like it with or without the tip? I think I actually like it better without the tip and you could actually buy this kit with or without the tip. Without the tip, it's about $100, and with the tip, it's about $130. So you can save yourself about $30 if you're not interested in running with the tip. So I think I'm gonna take it off, and then the cold start. All right, now for the cold start. So we just finished up with the install, and let's go take it for a ride. So it's been a few days guys, and I thought I would get some miles underneath the Jeep before I go ahead and give you my initial thoughts and review on the AFE exhaust. And so let's talk about the things that I like and I don't like in a minute, but I'll give you my first impressions. So driving the Jeep now, the exhaust is pretty subtle, which I like, 
but it does give you that nice aggressive rumble when you put your foot on the pedal like this. So let's talk about a few of the things that I really appreciate about this AFE exhaust. First, I really like the fact that it's affordable. For around 150 bucks, this is a great modification that you can make to your JL that's not going to break the bank. This is something that you could order online, get delivered, and it's a really quick and easy install. Another thing that I really appreciate is how easy it is to install. This really is something that you could do at home in the garage with some basic hand tools and it's only going to take you about 30 minutes to an hour. Another thing I really like is the fact that the exhaust is functional. It's going to add some extra ground clearance, especially on the approach and departure angles when you're off-road. It's certainly going to help. And last but not least, I'm loving the sound. This exhaust gives you the perfect tone when you're going down. It's subtle, but it's aggressive. It doesn't have that rattle can sound. It doesn't sound like a racer. It's just the right amount of aggressive tone, and it's definitely going to guarantee to increase your smiles per gallon. So being objective and giving you the most honest review I could, I was trying to think of some of the things that I didn't really like. It's kind of hard with this exhaust because it ticks all of the boxes. It's affordable, easy to install, and it works, sounds great. One of the things that I probably wouldn't have done if I was to reorder it again was order the tip. I think I wasted a little bit of money ordering that tip, which just isn't necessary. So there you have it guys. That's the full installation and review of the AFE exhaust, which I think turned out awesome. If you love the video, be sure to smash that like button. It really helps the videos grow and I truly appreciate it. Also, if you wanna stay up to date and not miss out on any of the new content that's coming out on the JL Build, be sure to click that subscribe button to join Team Adventure Dex. All of the appropriate links will be in the description, so go over there and check it out. As always, I'm Adventure Dex. Don't forget, keep on jeeping. So it's been a few days, guys. So it's been a few days, guys.